episode of Behind the Curtain. We're still at the Mifters, um, and this week we will be looking at My Boy Jack, which is the second Mifter play. Um, written, you may have heard it before because it is actually written by David Haig, and there was a recent production on ITV starring Daniel Radcliffe and David Haig himself. Um, the story is set in 1913 and centres around Rudyard Kipling as he tries to get his myopic son into war. Um, it's all about a family conflict versus the personal um, patriotism of Rudyard Kipling himself. Um, our performance, um, the University of Manchester Drama Society's performance um, was directed by Robert Beck and they are now rehearsing so let's go see what they're up to. <laughs> you look exhausted. It's been a thick week. Hello, bud. You've grown a moustache. Do you like it? You look ten years older. Is that a good thing? Of course. <laughs> so, what are you? Second Lieutenant John Kipling, Irish Guards, Brigade of Guards, Second Reserve Battalion. You got what you wanted. Yes. You look so fine. <laughs> Come on, give everybody a chance. How are you, old man? Uh, well, fatigued. We've had four hours sleep this past 48 hours. Oh, oh, a lot of uh, marching? Absolutely. Jack, nobody will tell me why the army have changed their mind. Not now! Yes, now! I don't mind, Father. I do mind! How are you, old man? Fatigued. I've had four hours sleep this past 48 hours. Yes. <laughs> well. We marched 19 miles on Tuesday. It was filthy hot. The men were fainting like flies. I think they'll stick it. Oh yes, no, they're good men. 100% Irish. 100% Mac. <laughs> they'll stick it. Then last night we marched 20 miles. We started at 9 p.m. and we weren't until 6 this morning. Allah be praised. <laughs> you don't mind all the marching, do you, Jack? You're probably too happy to care. Nobody will tell me why the army have changed their mind. This is so selfish. It's no great secret, Bird. Good. You can tell me then. You know Bob's? No. Yes, you do. Lord Roberts. The Lord Roberts? Father's pal. He helped us out. He found me a space in his regiment. I'm here with the production team now. Um, we're going to ask them a bit of questions. So you guys want to tell me what, what production roles do you think you've been playing? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Rob Beck and I'm the director. Um, I'm Christine Gallagher and I'm the producer. Um, basically, the first question I'm going to ask you is what actually attracted you to um, the David Head play? Um, well, the story begins six months ago in my friend's kitchen, and um, we both watched the ITV film version, which is a fabulous production of it with David Hay playing um, Roger Kipling, and he's got Daniel Radcliffe in it who plays Jack. And uh, I was aware that before it was on TV, it was a stage play. And so my friend and I were sitting in her kitchen and we were like, I know, let's put on My Boy Jack for the Mifters. It would be a really good thing to do um, and we can make it really special. Mm -hmm. And so when I came back in September and we were talking about what shows to put on, I told Christine that this was an idea that I was having and um, she was really keen as well. Yeah, um, I thought, well, it's been a hundred years since the war, so it'd be really relevant because it would remind you of heritage and um, about the poignancy of war, and I thought that the play really encompassed that. Um, and again, going on with what you're saying about war, did you guys find it hard? Um, because obviously, as a university student, you do have limited resources and stuff for <coughs> staging and play. Um, did you find it quite hard to actually stage? Um, yeah, and portray the trenches. Well, um, I saw a production recently at the Royal Exchange um, in which half of it was set in, the, in, well, in Lancashire and the other half of it was set in the trenches and the way that they um, used the space and the props that they had available, obviously the Royal Exchange has got a lot more money than we do, um, <laughs> but uh, the way that they used the space and the props um, really inspired me. Um, and it's theatre and um, you, you can ask the audience to stretch their imaginations a little bit. Um, so I think that we've done a good job and hopefully the audience will agree. Yeah. So, um, and like I asked the other actors, um, are you Roger Kipling fans as well? Oh yeah, definitely. Do you have a favourite work? Um, I love um, If, the poem. Mm -hmm. um, 
it, ha it strikes a chord with me. Um, and so, yeah, that's probably my favorite part. And then um, I always read the Just So stories when I was a kid as well, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, good luck um, for um, next week. And um, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks. Right, okay, that was a really good <coughs> second run. Like, you picked up on all my notes in the first run, which is fantastic. So, most of my notes are just, oh, you did that better, oh, you did that better, which is good. Um, so, good. Matt, I'll start off with, that was much better with your singing. I said better because it's horrifically out of tune, but it was fantastic, <laughs> it was great. Um, one One's fantastic, it's a, really, it's a really good opening scene, really happy with that. Um, one Two, so much better. Fantastic, thank you guys. Um, Joe, be more officious with your medical examination. Yeah, sure. So be a bit more kind of... I don't know what that one on the back actually, I don't know what I'm, I'm meant to be... It's happening. It's happening. They're listening to it. Yeah, and listening. You see it and then you're like, fluid. That's yeah, long fluid. Yeah. Fluid. Fluid in your lungs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit more, a little bit more intrusive. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> get in space kind yeah. of thing. Um, um, back in the but that was mostly good. Uh, fabulous, really well done. Keep it up. Hi, so I'm here with um, some of the cast. Um, guys, do you want to tell me um, what sort of roles you uh, play? Um, I'm playing Elsie, who is Roger Kipling's daughter, and Jack's sister. Mm -hmm. I'm playing uh, John Kipling, Jack Kipling, um, who's Rudyard's son, Carrie's son, and Elsie's sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Carrie Kipling and I'm Rudyard Kipling's boy. I'm playing Rudyard Kipling. Cool. Um, <laughs> obviously, like the um, play is obviously about real historical. <coughs> did you guys do any um, research into sort of the characters you were playing and what they were like? Um, yeah, well, I did a bit. The thing about Elsie Kipling is she was a real Elsie Kipling. She's a very private person and she was very kind of. Um, zealous about what information about her family was let out and what kind of was kept kept private. There wasn't much about her, but I did do I did do a bit. Okay. It's it's kind of the same with Jack. There's not a great deal of um, information on him, and everything on him is sort of accessed through Rudyard. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I read a couple of like biographies on Rudyard, and there's one on Jack. I think there's only one on Jack. Um, it's good. And uh, just kind of general First World War, like immersion, I think was really helpful for the play. The climate at the time was really useful. Um, and yeah, same with um, Rudyard's writing, but also um, just general First World War stuff. I'm doing a dissertation on it as well, so I've had enough of First World War. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, with Rudyard, obviously, there's a lot more about him, so there's a lot more readily available. I think the best thing, one of the best things he did was he uh, he wrote a lot of letters to both his kids, and um, we, we read quite a few of those, and that actually provided quite a good insight because with the actual play, you might get the impression that he's he's a horrible dad, but really he's really good with kids, and that and his letters reveal how much affection he did have for them. So that was nice because it was sort of difficult for me to pitch when I was. Are there any of you um, Rudyard Kipling fans read his works? I know I, my dad read me the Jesso stories in the jungle book when I was little, so I know those ones pretty well. Yeah. I actually wasn't until this play. I, I've, re I've, I've read his poems and stuff, but I never really liked them. Um, but I've, I've come at him with a renewed lust. Because <laughs> 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 I like him a lot more. Um, that must be just my portrayal. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of lust. Secrets can learn out. Yeah. That's great. Thank you very much. Well, well, um, good luck. Um, break a leg for the fall. Thank you. Um, <laughs> next week. Okay. Cool. Thanks a lot. If I could just stop the the, sh the shaking, I so I need to find somewhere warm and out of the noise. I need to warm up for God's sakes. Uh, I'm after trembling like a leaf. I, I, I think I'm going to head back to the dugout.
just for a moment, just to thaw out, you know? <laughs> Excuse me, lads, could I just get past you? Where do you think you're going? I just need to nip back to the dugout. Oh, just for a moment. I'll kill you first. Lads, if you could. Excuse me, I need to get past. You're not going anywhere. Could you get out of my way? I said you're not going anywhere. Please! Doyle, give me a hand! I need another coat or something. I'm not having you put a fucking curse on this platoon. Let me through. Doyle, grab him! Get out of my way! Let me pass! Don't you fucking scratch me! I'm sick! I need to get out! Don't you scratch me, you bastard! Let me through! Fuck you! No. McHugh, you're not eating. No, sir. I think you should. No, thank you, sir. Rum? Thank you, sir. None of you have eaten. It's a precaution, sir. We don't want to get shot in, shot in the gut on a full stomach. I see. You can imagine, sir, all that poison swelling around your insides and you're shot here. And all your organs are open to the elements and there's half-digested food everywhere. It increases the chance of infection. Yes, I see. I'm here with even more of a cast, um, and um, yeah, so do you guys want to tell me which uh, roles you want to play? I'm Joe Bradley and I play Guardsman Bo. Uh, and the amazing stuff I play Guardsman Bo and Colonel Pottle and Mr. Franklin. So many parts. So many, I'm just um, so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I play Guardsman Bo. I play Guardsman. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I'm also Guardsman Doyle. <laughs> and we've talked about this, we're replacing him. <laughs> nice. Um, nice. I'm Joe also, and I play Guardsman McHugh and an army doctor called Charles Sparks. Yeah. Um, obviously, like, being in the rehearsals, you're, you've got quite different sort of characters. Um, did you, do you... Do you like playing the various roles that are playing inside? Do you like... Yeah, it gives me a chance to flex the Irish accent a bit, yeah. which is quite nice. Easier for some than others. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we, we took it all quite a long time to get it right. But yeah. Now we're fantastic. <laughs> we're, I think we're pretty much we're qualified brilliant. to be Irish people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you, obviously, like uh, um, I said to the others, um, it's obviously a historical play. Did you, do, did you guys do any um, historical research? into your characters as well as the general historical time period. Yeah, well, like no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, no I my, my my character suffers from quite a severe shell shock and he's terrified with hallucinations of gas and things like that. So I've been reading up about a lot of what these people went through and people like mainly through literature, like through books set in Craig Lockhart Hospital, like Pat Barker's Re Regeneration, and watch some really good old footage that they have of some of the people suffering from shell shock and some of the physical symptoms that they've had, which I've tried to mimic. Did you find that quite hard? Yes. Yeah. Very hard. <laughs> but there's still time to get there, I hope. Not much time. There's still time. <laughs> We all went through sort of World War One poetry together as well, so we all brought in a poem and read it to each other. So it sort of set the scene of what exactly the sort of feel we're going for. Just reminding ourselves of our GCSE history. Yeah. <laughs> from an old GCSE <laughs> history. <laughs> Degree history. Okay. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll ask this to the other guys. Are any of you guys uh, Richard, uh, Richard Kipling fans? Um, yeah, it, my mum used to read it to me when I was a little kid. So. Yeah, I remember them. I've seen the it's Disney awesome. Jungle Book, but I don't think that counts. So that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm only. No. Hate it. <laughs> Why am I even in this? <laughs> um, yeah, no, thank you very much, guys, and again, break a leg. Thank you. Cheers.